Hello guys, this is Ryan Marshall here. I'm an Australian podiatrist at East Coast Podiatry. I have a special interest in the diagnosis, treatment and prevention of musculoskeletal injuries. Now today we're going to be talking about a topic that is very popular in Singapore and that is running related injuries. Now it is no surprise that the most common area of injury for runners is in the lower limb due to the high impact nature of the condition. Today, we are going to be speaking about a condition that is the most common cause of inferior heel pain for runners and something that I'm treating every day. And that is a condition called plantar fasciitis. Now the first question to answer is, what is the plantar fascia? And then what is plantar fasciitis? Now, the plantar fascia is a series of connective tissues that run from the heel bone to the toes of the foot. Now the role of the plantar fascia is to support the arch of the foot and maintain correct positioning. In individuals that are doing activities that cause overuse of the plantar fascia with abnormal foot posture, there is excessive overuse at the insertion or the mid portion, which creates micro tearing of the plantar fascia. Now this is associated with pain and inflammation, and this is a condition called plantar fasciitis. The second question to answer is, what are the risks of getting plantar fasciitis? The first thing that we're going to look at is the patient's foot function. Now individuals that do not have an ideal foot position, whether it be too flat or too high of an arch, means that they are not evenly distributing the pressure on the plantar foot. Now this puts excessive strain or overuse on the plantar fascia structure, which then creates that micro tearing. What we also look at are the patient's activity levels uh, and also the surface that they're running on. Now, individuals that are performing high intensity activities like running, put more force throughout the foot and the associated structures, which increases their risk. Now this risk is even further increased when the activities are done on a hard surface due to what we call ground reaction force. Now the third question to answer is, how do you identify if you have plantar fasciitis? Patients that are experiencing symptoms, they will normally be heel pain upon first weight bearing in the morning or after prolonged activity. Now pain is most common in the morning because overnight the plantar fascia is contracting, then upon first weight bearing, you are stretching that plantar fascia out, which creates that irritation and that pain once again. What happens if you don't treat plantar fasciitis? Well, plantar fasciitis can result in chronic heel pain if not properly addressed. Now, individuals with chronic heel pain will then try and redistribute the pressure off the plantar fascia. Having this abnormal foot posture once again can then cause pain in the ankle, the knee and the hip. The other issue is that patients will compensate by putting weight on the other foot. Now, if you have too much weight on the other foot with too much force, this can then cause the condition on that side. When we look at plantar fasciitis, we have to understand the blood flow to the plantar fascia. Now, the area is what we call avascular, meaning not much blood flow. Now, this lack of blood flow relates to longer periods for healing. Now, when individuals are having a prolonged period of healing, they are then at increased risk of injury during that time. What we have to finally answer is, what can be done for the treatment of plantar fasciitis? Now, we have to look at the cause and the effect of the injury in order to be able to provide the best treatment outcomes. What I always say to patients, that there is an ideal foot posture and an ideal walking or running pattern. Now, the further that you deviate away from that, the higher risk you are of injury. We need to then put the foot in a more ideal position during the walking and the running pattern. The way that we do that is through the use of prescription foot orthotics. Now, prescription foot orthotics are medical inserts that are placed within the footwear in order to be able to provide correct support to reduce the excessive force and also reducing the recurrence of injury after it's healed. 
Now, patients need to understand that custom foot orthotics will not interfere with their activities of daily living. More so, it will continually support the foot and complement their lifestyle. Secondly, what we have to address is the effect of the injury. That is the micro tearing, the inflammation, and the associated pain. The way that we treat that is through the use of what we call extracorporeal shockwave therapy or ESWT. Now, the benefits of ESWT is that it can be treated from outside the body. That means the invasive risks of surgery and the costs related to surgery are minimized. The other benefit of shockwave therapy is that it does not interfere with the individual's activities of daily living. More so, it complements their lifestyle, much like the orthotic devices. The benefit of extracorporeal shockwave therapy is that there is no downtime and no risks as there is no invasive procedure. The functions of extracorporeal shockwave or ESWT is that it increases what we call neovascularization or increased blood flow to the area and it also increases what we call collagen synthesis so it strengthens the structure as well. Now being able to increase the blood flow to the area means that we have increased healing enhancement and therefore much quicker rates of healing. Therefore, the individual is able to get back to their activities of daily living and their running activities at a much quicker rate. Both shockwave therapy and the custom foot orthotics are addressed and used in combination with in-depth patient evaluation and information regarding running style, stretching, footwear, and strengthening. If you've been dealing with plantar heel pain for a prolonged period of time, you see a podiatrist in order to be able to get a diagnosis and the correct treatment that is required. Thank you guys very much for tuning in and I look forward to speaking to you soon. For more information on related conditions, check out our other videos.